welcome. I'm here with my buddy Legend, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to sit the canter. We all wanna feel like we're secure in the canter, we've got a good connection with our horse, so how do we do that? Today I'm gonna to first show you how to sit the canter correctly, show you in slow motion a little bit what we're looking for and how we can move with the horse, work with the motion and not against it in the canter. And then I'm gonna be showing you four common mistakes that we can make when working in the canter and how to solve them. So what are the building blocks of a correct canter? The first step is we wanna foul the motion with our hips. Next, we wanna foul the motion with our arms. We wanna make sure that we're stretching up nice and tall, that our legs are nice and long and our toes are up. So here I'm following the motion with my hips, following the motion with my arms. I have my toes up, nice long leg, and I'm sitting nice and deep and relaxed into the saddle. Now that you've seen the canter done correctly and you know the pieces that go into being able to ride with your horse and be able to be confident in that canter following the motion, let's talk about four challenges that can arise in your canter and how you can solve them if you're struggling with them right now. The first one is bouncing in the canter. When we're bouncing the canter, it's usually happening because we have too much tension in our bodies. Often this happens when we're gripping with our legs. If you're gripping with your legs, it's usually because your hip flexors are a bit tight, your legs are a bit tight. So anything that you can do off your horse to stretch those hip flexors and open them up, loosen up those legs so you can follow the motion is gonna help you in your riding. Number two is driving with the shoulders. This is happening when we're kind of pushing the horse along with our upper body instead of following them with our hips. So what we want to do instead of driving with our shoulders is we want to follow the motion with our hip and our core and keep our shoulders quiet and over our hips. Number three is falling forward. This is happening when we're collapsing our upper body. And when we collapse our upper body like this, it puts our horse out of balance and we're less balanced. So what we want to do instead of collapsing forward is stretch up nice and tall in good posture. If you're struggling with this, you can do exercises on the ground to help strengthen your back chain. So here I'm strengthening my back doing a Superman and this is a wonderful exercise to help strengthen your back. Number four is leaning too far back. And this is happening when we're falling behind the motion of the horse. You can see how my legs are swinging, I'm bracing in my feet too much, and that's pushing me back behind the horse. So I'm in more of a chair seat, as you can see on the left, and I wanna be in a more of a kneeled position, as you can see on the right. So how do I achieve this kneeled position, which is a more aerobic balanced frame? Well, I wanna work on strengthening my core, and typically I'm gonna do this off of my horse. So any exercise you do to strengthen your core, here I'm doing bicycles crunches, is going to help you to be able to sit in a better, more aerobic frame when you ride your horse. I hope these tips were a help to you if you're working on improving your canter right now. The canter can be a little bit of a challenging gait if you've gone through a time where you've taken a break from riding, maybe you're, you know, working mostly on your trot work, but once you get confident in the canter, it's a gait that's really comfortable to ride and is really exciting to be able to have that ability to ride up to the canter and not feel like you're afraid or you're gonna lose your balance. So I hope this video has inspired you to go out and practice your canter, giving you some more tools to improve it. And if you did like this video, you can hit that like button and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.